Hello Taurus and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Look, there's an emperor coming towards you, okay? They're having, they're having a lot of sleepless nights. This person's all stuck, stuck in their head. Ooh. Um, they're with someone else right now. The, and this Queen of Swords energy, they could be with a, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be dealing with possibly a Sagittarius. You know, honestly, I'm getting the sense that whoever this person is with, she may be thinking about someone new. Yes. Okay, so both of these people are thinking about someone else. The Emperor is thinking about their Empress in the Minor. Okay, and this uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, other feminine energy that this Empress is with, they're thinking about somebody new that they just met that may be younger than them, but is there, it has been flirting. These two have been flirting together. I feel like she can't get somebody off of her mind. She's met someone new. I feel like she's a karmic individual. She's very harsh, cold, nasty, maybe even bitter um, to this Emperor. I feel like these two are together. She's been competing with you um, for this emperor, even though you're not competing. But now this karmic, I'm going to just call her a karmic because honestly, um, she's she's been pretty nasty to this masculine, okay? She's very bitter. She may be feeling betrayed because she knows this masculine really wants you. Okay, this masculine, I feel like they've been juggling kind of uh, both of you. This could also be somebody who, um, you know, the emperor, I feel like they can be very harsh and cold as well. Like they kind of want it their way or the highway. So these two are, are clashing, this queen of swords and this emperor. And now she has met somebody new. Okay, this, this page of wands starts flirting with her. And she can't stop thinking about this page of wands. Now she's feeling resentful of this emperor that she tried to hold on to because now she's interested in somebody new. But meanwhile, I feel like these two are still together. Um, the emperor's still thinking about his empress. You're the only one who's really just focused on yourself, okay? <laughs> um, you're... Just doing a lot of working. I see you working a lot, trying to grow your finances, your stability. Um, you could have a creative project that you've been working on that's that's become very successful. Uh, you've had a complete transformation in your life, maybe in even three separate areas of your life. I'm also seeing that you've got um, your ancestors around you, you're, you're getting messages from spirit here. That's this little bird whispering in your ear, telling you what to focus on, okay? And I feel like that's what you're doing. You're focusing, you're growing, um, you're, yeah, you're having a transformation. This masculine, you're the one that they want. Um, but, yeah... I feel like this this masculine, to feed their ego, they liked having two feminine energies wanting them, okay? I feel like it made this person feel like a hot shot, you know, to watch a competition go down. You didn't compete. It was the Queen of Swords competing here somehow um, because she wanted, she just didn't want to lose this masculine to you, Okay. Now she can't stop thinking about somebody new. Your masculine can't stop thinking about you. <laughs> yeah, look, you got the Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor, Collective. Um, very intuitive energy, too, with the High Priestess. So I'm telling you, you're very tapped into the Divine. I'm also kind of getting that this masculine could be getting a lot of tarot card readings on you. Um, you could be a tarot card reader. Uh, um, I feel like there's in, in no competition, or sorry, in no communication, this masculine's now trying to, they're trying to find things out about you. Okay, there's a lot of fighting going on between these two in the in the background. Um, 
I feel like that's all they do is fight with each other. I gotta say, she's he's very difficult to deal with because this is somebody who has their mind made up. They they don't budge. They want to make all the executive decisions, and and they want you. She's very harsh and cold and nasty. Um, she's um, resentful of this masculine. Okay, jealous of you as well. But they're they're fighting back and forth. She knows this masculine wants you. But here's the thing, I, you know, she's starting to want someone else. There's someone new that's like asking her out or flirting with her. I'm hearing maybe on her job, at her job, something like that. And this masculine now, I feel like they're thinking about, you know what, guys, I'm getting, I'm getting, they're both thinking about um, cutting each other out. They're just, they're sick of the, they're both sick of the heartache. You know, um, they're both sick of the betrayal, the suspicion, right? The jealousy. So I feel like they both just want to put an end to this. And you're like, la, 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 I'm going to build my, my, uh, my fortress. I'm going to build my castle, you know, <laughs> my temple. Yeah, you're just out here working and, um, Love and life, I feel. I, I'm, I'm getting this beautiful, peaceful, calm energy off of you. You could be getting outside a lot, um, enjoying the sunshine, the weather. I feel like also everything you touch seems to turn to gold. Okay? So whatever it is you're doing, it's you're a master at it. It's becoming a, a huge success. That's for someone. Or you're saving a lot of money. Um, working really hard, do you know you're feeling good out here, collective? Yeah, see, a lot of betrayal. I feel like um, both of these people in the background in this karmic situation, they're both betraying each other, and I feel like they're just done, they're tired of the heartache. They're ready to move on. I've got the ten of pentacles on the bottom of the deck, so I feel like. They they both may want something solid and strong, but it's not with each other. Maybe these two could have recently gotten married. I feel like it's burdensome for both of them. Uh, your person could be a Virgo, Taurus, Aries. You could be a Virgo. You could be um, a Cancer, Pisces. Yeah, and all this masculine can think about is coming towards you with an offer or at least communicating again, you know. They may even want to start off slow here with you. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and I feel like the, if they're watching tarot card readings, they may be very obsessive about it. You know, the more they are told information about you and um, how much you've changed and everything that, I mean, whatever they're getting, um, whatever information they're getting, it's leaving them feeling burdened every single time. So if they're watching tarot on YouTube, I feel like this person's watching a lot of readings. Like they go from one to the next to try to get information. They may be finding out that you could be meeting somebody new here. Yeah, I'm just getting the sense that they don't know what to do. The information that they're getting about you, um, maybe they're getting confused. They're watching too many tarot card readings, or um, maybe they don't seem to realize that not every reading is for them. You know what I mean? Judgment. They need to make some kind of decision. I feel like they're tired of juggling. This person knows they need to decide. Um, this karmic knows that they, it's judgment time for both of them. They need to make a decision when it comes to love and that situation. You're not even a part of that situation. Um, seriously, you're not focused on them. You're, you don't have your nose in their business. You know, you're not, I don't even think you're online. Uh, I don't think you're on social media. I feel like you're just too busy. You know, the queen of pentacles energy, she's She's busy. She's got a lot of responsibilities. She wants to grow. She's being creative. 
you know you're expending all your energy on you and your future and your glow up okay yeah you're building the ten of pentacles just for you you're a single person out here the most you can have in the deck is ten pentacles right you've got nine already just for you just alone on your own you've got nine um, so you're building a very solid foundation for yourself. And I feel like you're getting all of these blessings. Um, and maybe your person up here, they could be losing money. You know, they're at the Two of Pentacles. That's having a very difficult time financially, um, very burdened. Maybe they have too many bills and can't pay for them. So I feel like this is part of their karma and part of that pressure is the loss of their finances. You know, they're having a really hard time. And that's one of the, just one of the things that these two fight about all day. Okay. And I feel like this masculine is realizing they lost a, a true empress here, really. And um, but if for somebody who's very bitter and, res and resentful and jealous... Yeah, they see you as the one collective. This is wifey here. So maybe in the past you could have been married to this person. You could have been committed to them, um, you know, possibly even for years. They want to come and apologize. This person wants to come back. They want to heal this with you. Star energy. They feel like a complete and utter fool for treating you like an option and walking away. They're realizing they were toxic. But here's the thing. This person's really jealous. They're jealous that you're on this pedestal. They're jealous that, um, that you're accomplishing something. So sorry about that, you guys. My battery died. You know, here's the thing with this. With an emperor, you have to understand, the emperor never likes to admit that they were wrong about anything. This person clearly made a really poor choice when it came to love, and they chose this queen of swords over you. Somebody cold, somebody kind of like, she's just mean, okay? And she's angry. Um, but this masculine still doesn't want to admit it. They're over here jealous, envious, watching you grow, watching you on a glow up. Yes, that's a confirmation. Um, they're watching you move on. You're very balanced. You're over them. So you're not feeding their ego at all. You know, you're not giving them any attention. Um, so, yeah, they want to come forward and apologize. They want to heal this. They're, they're feeling like a fool forever walking away from you. But they're still coming in this toxic energy. Okay, they still, um, they're still jealous. They're still upset because um, they're having to say they're sorry. Yeah, but this person is being led straight to you. See, they didn't, they did not want to confront this man. <laughs> and spirits like, look, in order to get your empress, you need to confront this. You need to apologize, you know. Um, you can't wait this out any longer because uh, the collective is moving on with the world card. This is closing out a cycle, starting a new one. The spirit's pointing right at the empress. If you want your empress, you're going to have to come in and do the right thing. You're going to have to say you're sorry and tell them that you made a mistake. Otherwise, you are going to miss out on this opportunity, and it's going to give you a huge crashing tower moment. I feel like if this person doesn't do this too, spirit is going to um, give them some karma. I feel like either way, they're going to lose the foundation that they're standing on because this karmic already wants someone new. She's already interested, and so, so they're about to lose both of you. And I don't think this masculine realizes it. This karmic is keeping all of this a secret. Um, she's not telling this, per this, mas this masculine that she wants somebody new already, that she's been flirting with somebody new, that she can't stop thinking about, you know, being turned on by somebody else, right? Um, he doesn't know this is about to happen. He's about to find out. So if this masculine doesn't come towards you, 
if they don't um, throw their ego out the window, right, and come and do the right thing by, by the Empress, they're going to lose both. They're going to lose both people that they were juggling, okay? And they're going to lose the one that's for them, especially. I've got the Emperor and the Empress out here. So spirit's kind of like warning this person. This is a feel it's feeling a lot of pressure here with these two cards. Okay? It's making this emperor angry because they know they've got to do something. They know they have to finally admit that they made a mistake. Okay? And that's what they didn't want to do. You know, and I feel like for a while when they had um the karmic competing with you somehow, it made them feel good. It made them feel great. What is this now? You're moving on. I feel like if this masculine tries to pick up on someone new just to try to make you jealous. Yeah, and I feel like that's what they're going to try to do. They're going to try to play a little game because they don't want to come to you like with their tail tucked between their legs. They're going to try to manipulate you, Collective. They, they may even tell you they have somebody new, or you may find this out even if you are on social media. I don't, I think you're too busy for social media, honestly. But, um, yeah, you're, this person may try to get you jealous. They may try to start playing a game, and Spirit is saying, look, you need to do the right thing, actually. And if you don't, if you don't approach the Empress with doing, wanting to do the right thing, you know, being honest and admitting you were wrong about something, okay, and apologizing, you're, you're going to get a tower. I don't think these games are going to work. Yeah, see? And, yep, if they try to manipulate you um, by pretending that they've got somebody new on the side and they're wanting to make you jealous and because this is feeling like a trick to me, um, posting pictures of somebody else online to make you jealous, spirits bringing that down. It'll be over. It'll be over if they try to do any kind of trick or any kind of manipulation It'll be done. This connection will be over. You're not going to put up with that. And honestly, some of you aren't even on social media anyway. I'm kind of, I'm feeling that pretty heavy. I mean, you may have a platform or a podium, but you're not, you're not scrolling, looking for information on this person from your past. You know what I mean? You're not looking them up through social media. So, yeah, one way or another, something's coming to an end for this person. And I, I feel like, number one, it's their ego. And it, I, I feel like they're about to lose both people in their life. Yeah, just by playing games. Yeah, by playing games, being a player. Yep. If they don't come in the right way, Collective, they, they can't have you back. And I'm telling you now, this karmic is also going to be leaving them for someone else. Yeah, they just want to hang on to the game. They want to hang on to control. Okay, they don't, they don't want to concede. They don't want to admit that they were wrong. So they're going to be betraying, betraying themselves. Because you're moving on. You you know what? I'm getting the sense that you, at this point, it's almost like you couldn't care less. You know? You're not about to be messed with. You're not paying any attention to them. See, even if they did post something online about them partying, having a great time, life is great, collective. Number one, it's all an act. And it's all, um, uh, tr they're trying to trick you. It's a manipulative plan to make you feel sad, make you feel jealous, maybe you want to come and chase after them, and it has an adverse effect. Because you don't go towards them, you leave. You go in a completely different direction. If anything, it's going to be a turnoff. It's not going to make you jealous enough to chase this person. So they're going to have to come in. They're going to have to do this. They need to confront it. Okay? Manipulative plans are not going to work on the Divine Feminines anymore. 
you know, um, let's see what your advice is. This person's about to kind of, they're about to sort of lose everything. They're losing their money, their finances. They're losing the love of their life. They're losing the karmic um, person that they were with. Yeah, look, time's up. Time is up. This person needs to do something or it's like they're going to lose everything, you guys. Yeah, if they want, if they want to be happy, they're going to have to take some kind of action. And I feel like for you, Collective, time's up on this connection. Um, you may have a decision to make in the future, but I feel like new love is being sent in, right? Um, yeah, I feel like you're about to meet someone new as well. If you haven't already. Or this is just, this could be a fire in you that says, you know what, I'm determined to be happy. I'm determined to live a happy life. I feel like right now Spirit's telling you just keep building, keep focused on what Spirit is telling you, okay? You've already built a solid foundation for yourself. Now you've got new, fresh energies coming in, okay? And I feel like Spirit... You know, they may, they may even be sending you some ideas, right, to start a new project, something like that. But you're just to keep building, keep doing what you're doing. Once again, this is like the Empress in the Minor Arcana energy. We've got you out as the Empress, right? Building something solid, working on your transformation, and listening to the divine, okay? And I feel like that's what they want you to do. All right, just focus on you and your happiness. Yeah, and your happiness. What did I say? This is the Ten of Cups in this deck. Focus on you and your happiness because right now you're, you're creating, you're manifesting your new future. And Spirit doesn't want you to lose your focus on that. Okay, I feel like um, your life is about to change here with the Ten of Cups. Some of you are trying to manifest or build a new home. Okay, just keep focusing on that. And I feel like um, this is a new, it just feels like a closing out of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. And your life is about to transform. I, I feel like you're just in a much happier peaceful, calm state right now. Um, and that's when you're going to get a lot of creative ideas. Um, all the pieces are going to fall into place for you. Just go with the flow. Okay? Trust your intuition. Trust the messages of the divine. Yeah, look, you're walking away from this connection and a big change is about to happen in your life. You know, I feel like... Um, this connection had you in stagnancy. It's just I'm noticing all the fog. You know, no answers, no clarity, no closure. It's, it's had you maybe in a mental prison thinking of what's going on. And Spirit saying it's time to release this now. Because just through this door up, up here and yonder, there's going to be, that's where your whole new life begins. Okay? So, yeah, Spirit's like, forgive release. It's time to go. Um, your person's out of time. You know, they want to take action, but they're being stubborn. And Spirit's leading you to ultimate wish fulfillment, basically with the land of milk and honey. Yeah. Yeah, that's emotional fulfillment. Um, that's having all your needs met, living in comfort, and just being happy. So, Keep focused on the things that you want that are going to make you happy in this new phase in your life, okay? That's the new cycle starting. 